Hello everyone and welcome back to one of my 40k Think Peace video things. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, so I was kind of thinking the other day, I was rereading a whole bunch of my 40k books, you know, 30k novels and stuff, and I was kind of thinking after rereading Dark Imperia, with Gilliman being back, you know, established being back and him as it was, there's a whole lot of really cool things you could do with him little short story ideas that would work for Gilliman in a new setting. And I was kind of just idly thinking about little short stories or novels or ideas or just little things I'd love to see the Black Library writers or Codex writers or anyone out there, you know, in the in the think piece of the Games Workshop writing machine would like to do with Gilliman. Maybe a, a novel collection of short stories um, set in the Indomitus Crusade. You know, based on some of Gilliman's adventures or activities or just little bits and pieces like that. So without further ado, I thought I'd like to share some with you. Alright, number one. I would like Gilliman to meet with Bjorn the Fellhanded. Now, I think that would be awesome. I was rereading War of the Bane the other day and I was thinking Gilliman meeting with Bjorn would just be amazing. Now, Gilliman, Gilliman obviously he's a bit shaken by the new, you know, new 45th second millennium he's kind of looking for a company looking for someone who understands like it says in gathering storm that gilliman and in dark imperium that gilliman wishes one of his loyal brothers would he could talk to and while he has belisarius call who was around during and you know some of the primaries marines were around during the aftermath of the heresy there was no one actually that lived through the great crusade um through the heresy itself and has actually seen the imperium what it was, aside from Beyond the Fell Handed. So I think a conversation between the two, maybe a short story based when Gilliman gives the Space Wolves their new Primaris Marines, I think that would be amazing. Gilliman actually interacting and talking with Bjorn, you know, discussing what's happened, the what the Imperium's become, you know, the Her Great Crusade, the Heresy, just things like that. I think Bjorn, even though he's a space wolf, and I don't think he had a high opinion of Gilliman from some of the 30k novels, but just for Bjorn to be reunited with a living Primarch again, I think would be amazing. And I think Gilliman would really appreciate just having someone to talk to, you know, from his time period. I don't know. I reckon it's a meeting that should happen. Probably not worth a full story, but a short story at the least. So that's my first idea. All right. Number two. This is one that actually I was really shocked wasn't in uh, Devastation of Bell. Brain had to work for a minute there. Gilliman talking to Sang Gilliman at Sanguinius's grave. Again, going back to the first you know thing. Gilliman missing his Gilliman misses his brothers. They've all disappeared or vanished mysteriously. You know, there's none of them around he can talk to. And the thing is, because a lot of his brothers disappeared rather than outright were killed or banished, there's no uh, there's no site he can go to talk to them, no place that Gilliman can, you know, converse with his brothers or, you know, speak aloud to himself wishing he could talk to his brothers, except for Sanguinius's gravesite. Now, I know there is the Hand of Dawn and the Skull of Ferris Manispell, but there's nothing as symbolic or as, you know, over immediately visually there as Sanguinius's gravesite. And I know in Codex Blood Angels it said Gilman spent a month on Bell, um, you know, giving the Primaris Marines and instructing Dante how to run the Imperium Nihilus and stuff like that. So I think a little short story of Gilman at Sanguinius's gravesite would just be great. It would just be a deep character moment for Gilman. And I'd actually like to see him, you know, conversing with um, the grave, like Horace conversed with Ferris Manus's scout during the heresy. Kind of a mirror of that, except from a loyalist perspective. And it'd just be nice to see Gilliman being like, did you foresee this brother? Did you see what this would become in your visions? Did you see what they would make of our Imperium? Is that why you were so eager to run to your death, brother? Was it better for you to fall to the hands of Horace than live to see this? Just things, lines like that, things like that, could it be so great for it? And just add a lot of I don't know, a more deep and poignant moment for Gilliman. But that's just my idea. I don't know. I think it should happen, but maybe it might not be Sanguinius's grave. Maybe it's Dawn's um, hand or 
embarrassed the skull or something, but that'd uh, just be nice. Gilliman interacting with the gravesite of one of his brothers. Okay, number three. Uh, I'd like to see Gilliman... This is also just a little short story. Um, it may be in the Adeptus Custodes Codex, I haven't read it. But I'd like to see Gilliman actually telling the Custodes to get off their fucking asses. This isn't a long, you know, drawn out one. But I understand it was Gilliman and Dawn that, or that orchestrated the Custodes remain on Terra. So I'd like to see 10,000 years later, um, Gilliman ordering the Custodes to get back out there in the Imperium again. It'd just be nice to see the Custodes perspective on Gilliman's return, Gilliman, you know, coming back, you know, a Primarch returning and giving them orders and how the Custodes feel about that. So maybe a back and forward argument between um, the shield captain of the Custodes and Gilliman just would be really nice. I don't know. This is just one of those more short story ideas. Okay. Uh, the fourth idea I had, just for a little thing, is I'd like to see Gilliman interact with Yuvarain and the Eldar again. And yes, no, not in that way. Ha ha, very funny. Yes, we all know the pictures out there. But I mean just um, getting to a bit more into that sort of relationship and dynamic between the two. Like... I was fascinated by the respect and camaraderie they showed for each other as it was written in Gathering Storm. And I'd like to see a bit more of that return. I know Yvrain, 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 um had promised to return the Hand of Darkness back to Gilliman and the Imperium. So maybe during that meeting, they could have a longer discussion and Gilliman could ask questions about the Elder, you know, what, what their plan is, what the Alliance means to them, what they're doing, and just get a bit more of the inter... Meh, not into kind of the dynamic between the two, the alliance, if you will, between the Yanari and the Imperium. Just see what it means to both sides. If it's just the Eldar using the Imperium for their own benefit, or is it just uh, an alliance of convenience? Just something like that, I think, would be rather neat. Once again, just a short story. Don't make it a full novel. But, you know, see what we see. And the last one, this is more of a, I think it'd be a bit more of a comedy sort of, not comedy, but a bit more light-hearted compared to the others. I would like to see Gilliman arguing with one of the um, Imperial preachers. I know um, Gilliman does in Dark Imperium, but the preacher he choose to, chooses as his, you know, militant agnostic, um, he's a bit more level-headed than the traditional, you know, Adeptus Ecclesiarchy minister. So him to argue with, or not argue, but debate and try and talk down a frothingly, you know, bowing at his feet, trying to kiss his boots, a uh, member of the Ecclesiarchy would be interesting. You know, Gilliman, it's said in the thing that, you know, in Dark Imperium, Gilliman gave up trying to correct the myths about his fellow brothers, you know, after about 80 years, because people just repeated them anyway. I'd like to hear some of those. What does the Imperium think about Corax and Sanguinius and stuff? What did the Ecclesiarchy teach about the Primarchs? This would be fascinating, and to have all of these blind faith arguments being made to Gilliman, and Gilliman trying to rebut them with logic and reason and having it fucking fail, would be just an interesting dynamic. And you get the thoughts in Gilliman's head of, what the hell is the Imperium coming to? You know, does this guy clearly not see reason? I'm trying to explain it to him, but he just doesn't get it. What the hell's going on? I just think that would be a fun, more light-hearted take on the... Um, on the Imperium and the Ecclesiarchy. You could write it a bit more serious, actually, if you wanted to, make it a bit more grimdark, but I just think it would be more uh, light-hearted compared to the other ones. So, I don't know, that was just me spitballing this afternoon, but, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. What stories would you like to see Gilman do? Would you like to see Gilman interacting with certain chapters? Would you like to see him, I don't know, maybe Gilman's reaction toward a Xenos? Like, what is he... Um, think of the Turinids. What does he think of Necrons? I don't know. There's plenty of opportunities that could fill the 100-year gap of the Indomitus Crusade. I think it's plenty of opportunity for the Black Ivory story writers to have a bit of fun. But, eh, we'll see. Hopefully we'll get something out of it, but... Yeah, you can't really hope in these day and age... Blah, in this day and age. Jeez, I'm losing my voice. Alright then, lads. Well, cheerio for now, and I shall catch you all again... Another time.